Hey, hello guys, Ivan from IMS. Uh, hello from beautiful Croatia. I'm here with my very close friend, Olympic champion, Hall of Famer, you name it, he did it. And uh, the reason is that we are recording this to show you the new uh, series of lures that we specially developed for tuna fishing and long casting. We all know how important it is that we are always missing a couple of meters. Uh, in certain conditions and we've been working hard to to bring you something that uh, might change you know the, this this situation so what we have in front of us here today is new all new mackerel 130 millimeters and uh, 60 g 60 grams that can be rigged with uh, one zero trebles and four to five inline hooks and we have an anchovy in five different colors uh, same length, same weight, so 130 millimeters, 60 grams, trebles from uh, one zero and inline hooks from uh, four to five zero. So our idea today was uh, to show you actually how well you can cast these lures with a different type of rods, reels, lines, and uh, we, we want to make two variants, like effortless casting, I will be casting these rods uh, with like, let's say 70% uh, of the power, and then uh, Vanya uh, will show you practically what you can do, because you know what legends do. Okay, <coughs> we will try to, to show you maximum what we can achieve with the gear that we will be using. Okay, okay, without any further ado, let's go, let's jump into the casting. Okay, so practically what we did today is I was casting like with 70% of uh, the power and Vanya was casting 100% and we were reaching distances of around 70 to 100 meters practically with all the gear. We started with uh, P3 rod Yamaga 100M with uh, 40 pound line and we finished with uh, Ripple Fisher Big Tuna 76. Uh, so I was practically casting, uh, you know, uh, casual cast 70% and Vanya was uh, casting almost 100%. Every cast to see what is an average distance of casting and what is uh, practically possible as some, some kind of maximum. Of course, we don't know what kind of fish will use these lures. Yes. So it's to get idea at least and it's much easier for for uh, fishermen to, to see and understand what kind of gear they have and what, what they, can they can expect from casting this lure. So as far as for uh, the techniques of the retrieve uh, for both of, both of lures, uh, we try to always to, to keep versatility in our lures because when you, when you find yourself in the situation to cast a tuna, sometimes you just don't have time to change the lure. So you can have few casts and uh, this practically it. If you have to change the lure, uh, story is history. <laughs> you agree? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So practically and anchovy and mackerel can be uh, wind straight and very, very fast. It, they, they, they hold water really well. 
On the fall they wobble. Uh, I think it's very, very nice wobble. Yeah. Okay, and they respond really well on twitching. So uh, when you're twitching the lure while they retrieve, the lure will uh, flash its belly uh, very nice and left on, on both sides and left and right. And um, this is something that we find really, really amazing. Yeah, what do you say? It's very, very new to natural reaction of the fish when they are yeah. escaping of the, from the from the predator. And the belly, as you said, it's showing very well, especially when they are going down. When you let them, they are uh, throwing out their their sides yeah. very, Flashing very, belly. very, very nice. So I believe uh, it's on behalf of probably this is also for those who are not very technical, you know. No matter how they cast, yeah, yeah. It, it's it very work. difficult to, uh, <laughs> n uh, to make mistakes. Yeah, yeah, it will work uh, practically by any by yeah. any retrieve. Yeah. I just wanted to take uh, a little bit about these lures, talk to you about this. Uh, what was the idea behind it, how we did it and why we did it. Uh, to come up with all new range of long, long cast, uh, cast rules, lures. What do you say, Vanya? How do you like them? Well, uh, you know, I test all of your lures, uh, even in the production, also in, in, in uh, fishing. And many of them was catch on the first cast, but actually to gain uh, distance and maintain uh, technical aspects of the lure, in main way they are falling to show the, uh, the sides and to have perfect maneuver. Uh, I believe with the resin you you did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, our, as you know, our lures are mainly produced from the wood. But uh, uh, we we found out that there is a great demand, you know, uh, when fishing for tuna or when fishing from the coast. Uh, often you you cannot reach the fish. Or actually, you you come close with the boat and fish dive down and just disappear. Okay, so we try experimenting with different materials, in this case resin, and it took us maybe, I don't know, maybe even more than a year. M more than a year. More than a year yeah. uh, to, to, to come up with uh, this solution. So it's practically resin-based rules, lures. Uh, resin is uh, layered in different density throughout the, the lure to, to achieve this, uh, this kind of performance. So practically what we measure today from uh, let's say some uh, effortless casting we we are getting somewhere around 70 meters yes. very easy and uh, with somebody somebody your your skills can reach easily 100 meters almost yes. in every cast yes. even with p6 with heavy lines. yes yes yeah actually this is something that that really can make a difference because normally when you feed with the uh, when you when you want to fish uh, the or you want to cast uh, to catch tunas or generally bluefish with the smaller lures uh, that practically with the heavier rod are unreachable. Yeah. With this 60 grams you can arrive without yeah, any yeah. problem. Because yeah. Yeah. You were casting the, today uh, Ripple Fisher 76 big tuna. Yes, with, with P6, P6. Ocea. Uh, from Shimano. This is what 100 and, and uh, uh, yes. 20, yes. 130 pounds yes. line. Yeah. Yes. So it's, uh, you know, it's amazing to, even with the heavy gear, you can achieve the very small lure, far distance, and the presentation and the movement of, uh, of the lure didn't lose anything. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it has natural way of swimming, which is most important thing. Yes, lures, lures uh, can uh, go, go with two different, three, actually three different setup of hooks. Uh, one zero trebles, or four to five zero inline hooks. With, with four to five zero inline hooks, you already have a lot of uh, power, pulling power on the fish. So if the fish are, let's say, about uh, 50, 60, 100 kg, then you can switch to inline hooks and actually yes. you can torque the fish and, and uh, fight the fight that you have to have with a big fish. And even if the fish are smaller, or if you are fishing for the striped bass or mahi-mahi or uh, yeah. this kind of fish, you can go with trebles or leer fish or uh, queen fish, you know, because they they attack lure differently yeah. and uh, trebles are more effective. So, yeah. You can do also combination. Yeah. With trebles and, and uh, solos. Yeah in line which is 
for some aspects. It depends on you guys. But actually, you know, uh, it's important to know that when you choose the lure, uh, you have also to find exact treble or, or the hook which suits the lure, that he works perfectly. Yes, uh, practically it is, uh, it is essential that uh, you rig the lure uh, the right way because uh, they are very, very sensitive on the change of the weight of the hooks and might be swimming incorrect. For all our fishing and testing, we are using BKK hooks. We are not associated by any means with them, but they simply provide, I don't know, yeah. probably best, best one of the best uh, yes. hooks around and we, corre we recommend them. Also, I must note that all the gear that you've seen today, we don't have any, no, any relationship with them. This is just the gear that we are using for, uh, for our everyday fishing. And uh, this is the gear that we presented uh, you lures with. Which means that we are pretty sick about the <laughs> gear. Yeah, yeah, we are sick about this. We are really passionate about fishing. Okay, guys, uh, thank you very much. And yeah, we catch you again soon.